green fingered the girls are, Pinky comes back to the barn determined to dig up some dirt. It's not long before the conversation takes a turn to a subject Larissa finds a little too close to home. What about plastic surgery? No, it's not. Now, you know, I want to know everything. I would. I would. <laughs> I would. I would. What's, what's fashionable? What's trendy? Boob jobs. I think there's a bit of a race, isn't it? You know, I mean, you go into it, then you want more and more, and you can't stop. Yeah. Uh, and that's a danger, really. Yeah, it's probably yeah. addictive. And I can't wait to prove yeah. everybody wrong and to prove that glamour girls can do this. And we are more than just arse and hips. Plastic surgery can do miracles, but... <laughs> A broken heart, no, I don't think it would solve anything. Pinky seems to think that one dirty cow might just be the cream of the crop. I've enjoyed tonight as well with Pinky. I think she's so lovely. And she's actually given me one of her jumpers for, to, to be a bit warmer tonight because the weather's been really bad. It's gone quite cold. I think some of the girls um, are playing the game, but p playing it really, <laughs> like taking it so seriously and really, really, really wanting to impress, which is great. After a restful night's sleep, some of the girls are more ready than others to get up and go. Can we just have a lie-in and then we'll... You can have a lie-in and I'll go do these chores for you. There is a daily martyr. <laughs> I was joking, obviously. Some of the girls aren't doing chores in the morning. I have to say, I have got up every morning and tried to get out, everybody out of bed like I did this morning. I'll get up and do the chores as well. But not the chickens. I hate it. The chores, I did them today, I did them the other day. Um, some of the girls think this it's best to like lie in bed because they can't be bothered or they feel ill or something like that. And again, I don't think that's really fair. Santi baby, are you okay? I just don't feel well at all. Um, I saw it in my head and my nose. So, yeah. Larissa makes one last plea for help. There's not much to do, really. It takes about five minutes for the horse, to two minutes for the cow, two minutes for the chicken. But with Chantel crying off sick and the rest of the girls just too tired and emotional, it's down to Larissa and Danielle to do the chores again. I slept better last night, though, than any other night. Did you? I did, I, yeah. I did, and then I woke up this morning and I was like, oh. I you think it's because Pinky gave me a jumper? Yeah. So I had a bit more warmth. I do enjoy it. I, I am adapting more than what I ever thought I would, to be honest. I never dreamed in a million years I'd say that, but it's really dark, isn't it? Oh. That's better. Chores over. Well done, Larissa. The girls drag themselves to the kitchen to dream of home comforts. I've asked Anna. Nick to see if we can have a treat of just like vegging out on a settee or a treat of just going into like what you say to appreciate it. Being in your living room. <laughs> All we want is to go inside. But who's this motoring through the courtyard in his shiny red tractor? Why, it's a Lexi, and he's got some news for the moaning cows. Morning, girls. Hi. Hi. How was yesterday? Wonderful. Oh, good. Now, let's see what your driving skills are like. I'm going to teach you guys how to drive a tractor. OK, I've got a whole course set up. All right? <laughs> well, he's on? Yeah. yeah. Ten minutes in the field? Yeah. yeah. OK? Great, girls. See you in a bit. See you then. Bye. I don't think I'm allowed to operate heavy machinery. <laughs> I don't think you are. Maybe I should just get back to bed. <laughs> Let's do it. 